Greetings, this is Dr. Akila with your health news break for today, April the 29th, 2019. Poor diet causes more deaths than smoking. Diets lacking in healthy foods are responsible for more deaths across the globe than smoking, a major new study has concluded. The research published in the British journal called The Lancet claims that around 11 million deaths per year, or one in five, are a result of a poor diet. The diets cutting lives short were found to be particularly high in salt and low in whole grains and fruits. The analysts part of the Global Burden of Disease study saw the researchers assess the diets of people in 195 countries using data from surveys, sales, and household expenditures from 1990 to 2017. Of the 11 million deaths linked to diet in 2017, 10 million were a result of cardiovascular disease. Cancer claimed the lives of 913 related deaths, and type 2 diabetes claimed the lives of 339,000 deaths were the next biggest diet-related killers. The Associated Professor of the University of Washington stated, and I quote, Unhealthy nutrition such as sugar-sweetened beverages, sodas, red meat, and processed meat, along with low emission of fresh vegetables, seeds, whole grains, nuts, and fruits, is the lead cause of deaths around the world. Deaths from a poor diet are higher than the deaths from blood pressure and tobacco usage. Consuming too much salt and too few whole grains were found to be particularly fatal, with each being responsible for 3 million deaths. Not eating enough fruits was linked to a further 2 million deaths as well. Salt raises blood pressure and thus risks the cardiovascular disease. Meanwhile, whole grains, fruits, and vegetables decrease the risk of heart attack and stroke. The study states that foods we should be eating more are whole grains, fruits, nuts, seeds, vegetables, and omega-3 foods such as flax seeds, hemp seeds, walnuts, seaweed, chia seeds, and saltwater fin fish. Foods we should be eating less are salt, sugary drinks, and processed meats. Perhaps unsurprisingly, countries where people followed a Mediterranean-style diet were found to have the fewest diet-related deaths, such as Israel, Spain, and France, which emerged to the top in the research as the healthiest countries that link to low diet-related deaths. At the other end of the spectrum, Uzbekistan, New Guinea, and Afghanistan were found to have the most diet-related deaths. For context, Israel had 89 diet-related deaths per 100,000 people, compared to 892 in Uzbekistan. The UK had 127 diet-related deaths per 100,000 people per year, while the United States had 170 diet-related deaths per 100,000 people per year. Generally, the countries that have a diet close to the Mediterranean diet, which has a higher intake of fruits, vegetables, nuts, and healthy oils, including olive oil and foods high in omega-3 fatty acids, are the countries where we see the lowest number of diet-related deaths. The researchers note that there were some limitations to their study. For example, the quality of data varies somewhat between countries, and they also didn't evaluate the effect of other forms of malnutrition, such as anorexia and obesity. However, they're encouraging people to focus more on adding healthy foods to their diets rather than punishing them for eating foods high in fat, salt, and sugar. This is because there is a bigger gap between how much healthy foods people should eat and what they actually do than how much unhealthy food people eat and the amount they consume. For example, the average daily red meat consumption across the globe is 27 grams when the recommended limit is only 23 grams. In contrast, the average daily consumption of nuts and seed 
it's just a low three grams, which is far below the recommended 21 grams people should consume on a daily basis. However, the one food researchers unanimously are begging people to eat less of is salt. And there you have it. That's your health news break for today. If you like this video and know anyone who can benefit from this information, please share it with them on your social media platforms. Also, be sure to like this video and subscribe to this channel for more to come in the future. Sources to all our health news topics are available in the description box. This is Dr. Akila. Thank you so much for watching this video and I wish you all a happy and healthy day. Peace and blessings.